The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Safina Insecticide, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Bernard Tobin here on the Soybean School today, uh, catching up with Horst Bonner, old man for Soybean Lead. Horst, thanks for taking some time. Uh, you're welcome. Thanks for dropping by. Yeah, yeah. appreciate it. I want to do a little recap of this season, mm-hmm. look mm-hmm. back at uh, what we've learned. You've done some research, and uh, we're probably going to do a two-parter here. And I thought we'd look at, uh, I guess, um, the beginning of the season, talk about planting and those planting dates. And at the back, the second part of this interview, we'll look at uh, maybe some some intensive management, what we can do with nutrients and fungicides, but let's kick it off. Um, how are we doing here? I mean, the yields are coming in. Uh, right, it's, it's, right. It started poor, and uh, we'll talk about the season, but overall yields aren't too bad. Well, f- fortunately, you know, most of the crop is in now just uh, because we had that o- October that was reasonable. Mm. So uh, we're sitting at about 40% reported right now to Agricor, and believe it or not, we're at about 44 bushels Ooh. per acre, which I think it'll, it'll, it'll come down a little bit. Yeah. It usually does. But to put that in context, of course, the 10-year average would be 47 mm-hmm. on those acres, right? So close mm-hmm. to uh, an average year across the province. And and you know me, I always like to say there were uh, extremes. Yeah. And because I, just this morning, I talked to someone who harvested 31 bushels, yeah. right? And so you want to be careful when you say it was an average crop, because uh, it wasn't for everyone, no, right? No. So, so, but having said that, yeah, when you think about, about what we, we went through. And where we started. Good night. I mean, <laughs> planted a month late, in some cases, two months late. We had growers that planted in July and still pulled off average crops. Um, I talked to one gentleman down in Essex, best crop he's ever had, planted June 9th, mm. right? And you and I have talked enough about planting date to say, listen, once you're into June, yeah, it can be a good crop, but the, it's not going to be the best crop you've ever had because yeah. it's it's late, right? Mm. Huh? Not for yeah. him. So you've done some research. You did some planting research, planting date research. What do we learn about planting date this year? I mean, right, it's, right. It's, it's amazing that you got the yields it at, is at, 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 on some of these later planted soybeans. Yeah, right. So you know, typically we say the first week of May is 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 pretty ideal, and you don't lose much until you get into that third week of May, and then it it drops off. Uh, certainly, once you're into the first week of June, we're talking about ten percent, and then and then it gets worse after mm-hmm. that, right? So. Because of the year, I mean, we had big plans to seed very early. We have this idea about super early planting mm-hmm. soybeans, right? There's guys in Michigan with some su- some success planting. Sure. Yeah, yeah, very mm-hmm. early. Huh, well, my first planting date was June 4th, right? And so good night. That's just, the, we just couldn't get in there. Anyway, so we planted a number of sites as early as we could. One that was planted out at Winchester was in May. The rest were all in June. And then we planted a couple weeks later, right? So yield difference, I hate to even say it. It was about one bushel less for that second planting date. So now we're talking about second, third week of June compared to the first week of June, except for that one site in in Winchester, which was actually a month spread. Point is, that's unusual. I would have thought it'd be more, uh, and usually it is more. So one of the keys to that, and I want to ask about, you know, hey, did you have the populations you need? Did you change varieties? What about, you know, shortening up or going longer? Right. Talk about your variety selection and maybe your populations. Right, right. So good, good question. You know, so as you're setting up these trials and you're, you're trying to think about what could we do to make sure we get the yield that we want? What changes can we make in the season? So one of them we always talk about is upping the population once you get into June. So we did that. We lowered the population to see if yields would collapse, and we also upped it somewhat. So our standard in our 15-inch row was 165,000. We went down to 95,000 plants per acre, and yes, we did lose a few bushels. We lost about four bushels doing that compared to uh, a standard. And then upping it to 200,000 helped a little bit, but only by about a couple, by, by two bushels is what it was. So 
this, the strategy definitely worked to up the population once you get into June. I think mm -hmm. that's a solid recommendation, and, and our numbers would back that up. But the surprising part, again, was that the differences were not as, as, as large as you might anticipate. So maybe what I'm hearing here is, you know, s stick with your adapted varieties and stick with the populations up the measure needed. And what's in that June 15th date? Okay, so now let's 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 dig into that variety selection um, story a little bit. Um, of course, you have to ask yourself once you get into June, should you choose a shorter day bean or an earlier maturing bean to make sure it finishes in the fall, have the quality, get it out, get it out of the field, and 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 have the best yield possible. So we did that as we moved into those later dates. We, we chose uh, a short season bean, an adapted, what we would consider an adapted bean mm -hmm. for that zone, and then a long day bean, right? Um, uh, about a half maturity longer. And, and you know, in the past, we've done this with early planting, mm -hmm. and the long day bean yields more. Well, this year, uh, with those June plantings, it turned out similar in the sense that the adapted bean did very well, the short season bean yielded less, mm -hmm. which we would expect, right. right? But the adapted bean finished just fine. Now the long season bean, it finished, but it did not yield more than an adapted bean this year, mm -hmm. right? So I think what we've learned, and, and, and this, is, this is not um, revolutionary, what, what we have confirmed, let's put it this way, is that if you're in June, you should stick with an adapted variety. And that's what, why we said in the past as a general statement, the only reason you would shorten up is to make sure the beans finish in the fall or you can get in winter wheat or whatever your reason is for finishing in the fall. And this year's data confirms that. So an adapted variety planted in June finished just fine. Awesome. Um, Want to come back? do a second part of this interview, because uh, again, we talked about that early season situation. Uh, we'll come back, we'll talk about uh, management in the within the season, fungicides, fertility, and whether we can get that timely rain. Excellent. Awesome.